Hi everyone, welcome back to a new post today and let's continue with the, as usual the paper 3. We have just few more topics to complete. Uh, today let's discuss something with regard to development and displacement. Uh, so first of all you need to know some uh, the meanings of displacement and development and why this combination of displacement along with development. So development is a progress or growth. Uh, it has different meanings in different areas of study or subjects but uh, for development or for for building or for development or growth in the country we need land resources uh, which is one of the most important uh, resources needed for development and people also have the settlements on land so when there are development projects which we execute for various infrastructure projects come uh, organization companies etc uh, there will be definitely be loss of land because the government acquires the land from the people this is just a brief uh, review uh, I mean a brief uh, insight into what exactly I'm going to speak about but let's go get into the details without wasting much time quickly so displacement um, we know is not, uh, displacement is definitely not a new human phenomena displacement the largest form of displacement in india was seen during the independence uh, when many people migrated from pakistan to india and also from india to pakistan that was because of independence so it's not development related displacement but yes independence achievement of independence can also be called as a political development that happened in india which led to a displacement of a lot of people from both sides of the country was fought uh, in that Indo Ch Indo China was Indo Ch uh, Pakistan wars which have been fought have also led to displacement uh, and these again are political issues as well as I, as I told you uh, develop, uh, developments have different meaning in different fields of study. So this displacement has been caused by various uh, factors uh, like construction of dams, hydroelectric power projects, establishments of industries, exploration of minerals where you have to excavate the land and clear the land for the minerals as the ores are found below the earth's surface and mining. Before we know the overview of displacement due to development projects and other related issues uh, which is one of the major factors affecting the human resources it's important for us to understand the terms of development displacement and resettlement the term development ensures batteries of changes positive changes for the betterment of the country and the community it involves a notion of growth progress and welfare which is collective and it is multifaceted so as i told you it carries a different meaning in different uh, disciplines for economists it is increase in growth rate per capita income for politicians it is acquisition of some symbols of modernization progress for administration it is achievement of targets and for social anthropologists it is enhancement of the quality of life standard of living and satisfaction of the basic needs now development is an innovative process as certain economics uh, ec economists called it leading to structural transformation of social system displacement on the other hand is also a multi-dimensional phenomena of which physical relocation is one of the most important significant out outcomes the movement can either be internal that is within the country or internal national and is often permanent though some possibilities of return might exist uh, afterwards in this context displacement not only refers to those people who are forcibly uh, uh, forced to relocate uh, from their origin place of origin to another place uh, and <coughs> that's because <coughs> they have to make way for the project uh, and related aspects but also includes those that are displaced from their resource base and livelihoods. It is commonly experienced through the loss of land and disruption of social and economic relationships. Resettlement is a population movement plan directly by the government and also the private developers where an area is chosen for resettling the people who have been displaced. The choice can be made after discussion with affected population but also can be imposed on them without the choice. So this is most of what happens in most of the development projects. Resettlement can also involve payment of some compensation for the affected populations. Displacement has become an outcome of modern development process worldwide. Displacement of the people from their habitat occurs almost in all the countries due to development projects. Uh, no precise data exists as to how many number of people are actually affected by development induced displacement throughout the world. For an indication, uh, the World Bank environment uh, says that dams and reservoirs are one of the most biggest cause for displacement and because of this at least a minimum of 10,000 
people get displaced by a dam. Roads, railways, other transportation industry rank second in displacement after dams. Beside dams, highways, thermal power projects, irrigation canals, drainage, sewage, uh, sewage lines, uh, wildlife sanctuaries are also some of the aspects of resettlement. Some of the projects, though they do not displace the people physically, yet they acquire considerable amount of land uh, and people have to displace themselves at least for a temporary period. Millions of those who lose their land for the development purposes simply end up being developed developmental refugees. So if you look at the data of the government of India and also World Bank, it says that dams are 62% uh, 60, uh, responsible for displacement of people, transportation 158 because transportation lines are the arteries of the economy and also the country. We need transportation not only to connect cities or capitals of one state to another, but also we need uh, uh, transportation lines to connect the basic level mandals or the Gram Sabhas uh, as well in our country. Water sewage uh, supply and sewerage are 3% responsible for displacement. Thermal power plant 4.8 percent, urban infrastructure 3.7 percent, irrigation canals 3.6 percent, environmental protection 3.8 percent, industry 0.1 percent, forestry 2.3 percent, and others zero. So the 1980s, especially, has been uh, described as the decade of displacement, where uh, disasters uh, ranging from famines to wars in Asia led to homelessness uh, to many many people, especially. And close to 20th century, uh, this will be remembered because a large number of people were evicted from their homes, farms, communities and forced to live somewhere else, which is not of their choice. In almost every developing country, a great deal of emphasis has been placed on creating and strengthening infrastructure facilities, displacement from the, of the people from the settlements. When their lands are acquired for these infrastructure pro, uh, projects, it's inevitable. No infrastructure projects can be completed without displacement uh, people. And therefore, uh, displacement and development are the two sides of the same coin. If displacement is one side of the coin, displacement is the other. Urban infrastructure transportation projects that cause displacement include your sum clearance up and upgradation establishment of industrial and commercial estates building and upgradation of sewerage uh, schools hospitals etc uh, construction of communication and transportation networks including connecting to different urban centers while development induced displacement occurs all over the world two countries especially china and india account for large portion of displacements in the first 40 years after 1949 and 1947 uh, with regard to china and india uh, the government has uh, resettled an average of at least 5 million people. After launch of various development pro programs beginning from 1950 to 51, the Indian economy witnessed a break undertaking of large scale development like irrigation, power, industries, mining, forest and wildlife. Like several other countries, India also had its share of displacing people from their habitat, occupation and social organization. The government estimates this to be 15.5 million people during 1950 to 1990. And India is said to be the third largest dam building uh, country in the world. And therefore, at least uh, many, um, much of the rural population have been displaced for this, especially tribal people have been affected a lot. Among the best known and controversial projects for development which induced displacement is that of the Sardar Sarovar Dam and on the Narbada River. Project-wise displacement shows Hirakud Dam, one of the largest built in India in 1950s, displaced more than 20 lakh people across 249 villages. Sri Shailam, uh, completed in 1983, displaced over 1 lakh people. Another major irrigation project was the Tungabhadra in Karnataka, affected 90 villages, displacing 55,000 people belonging to almost 12,000 families. In Maharashtra, 2,200 villages have been affected due to implementation of 223 minor, medium and major projects projects displacing 1.25 lakh families. Uh, this leads to not only displacement, also cultural alienation, disposition from the land and other resources, lack of consultation, uh, which uh, leads uh, to also more grievances, lack of compensation, inadequate compensation is one of the major issues and non-payment of timely compensation is another major issue. Human rights abuses, lowering of the li living standards for the people who get displaced, a deeper insight into physical displacement from the river system and forest ecosystem also alters the cultural way of of their life and especially if the cattle is involved they face a lot of problems later. 
in telangana we had the satnala irrigation project where nearly these are few examples 2000 people dispersed to other villages the komravelli mallana sagar is uh, among the 20 reservoirs proposed under the kaleswaram lift, uh, lift irrigation project it is touted as the world's largest lift irrigation system the kaleswaram project set multiple records of world's longest uh, water tunnels uh, underground surge pools biggest pumps etc the project aims to acquire 18.26 acres of land across 13 districts providing for industries and drinking water to hyderabad and sikandrabad as per the detailed project report almost 14516 hectares have been uh, uh, taken away from the people including private land of 12340 hectares this will drown the project this will this uh, which will be drowned under the project and this will displace at least 15000 families you can add some of your few examples etc not only from the irrigation but other projects that are coming up with uh, in the state as well and even if you want you can add some few examples from other neighboring states as well recent projects especially so i hope this few uh, points would really help you to gain more insight and write better answers or even this will help you in your essay writing as well and if you did please do like share subscribe and don't forget to share as well and i shall see you and don't forget to comment also and i shall see you in my next post until then it's very happy learning